water at two minutes after five or two minutes after two, depending on where you are. <laughs> Uh, and the first item on the agenda is Treasurer's Report Analysis of 2016 VLCT Memo on Municipal Loans and General Budget Discussion Action Unlikely. Okay. So I'll let you talk about the... Well, first of all, the budget, I'm really... Nothing's changed. We've got no new numbers or anything since the last meeting. So until you really want to get into a full budget discussion... Um, there's really, I have nothing to add on that. That was just thrown in there in case you wanted to right. bring well, out <laughs> really all, Really all I wanted to do was say, I, I thought about it a lot sitting on the uh, yeah. beach in Mexico, and I apologize for, uh, for missing that meeting. I was literally on my way. I was in the air when uh, the meeting was going on, coming back. Um, you know... Yeah, we can probably go through there and find a few thousand dollars here and there, cut, cut the road budget a couple of thousand dollars, do this or that, if that's what we want to do. But I don't think that's what we want to do. Um, at least I don't want to. So, you know, for me, um, you know, I guess it really comes down to the pay raises and how we, and how we feel about that. Well, it comes down to the what? The pay raises. Uh... uh is 2% the right number? Is 1.5% the right number? Is 2.5% the right number? Uh, I haven't talked to any other towns, but I've talked to a bunch of business people, and everybody seems to be in the 2 or 3% range, from what I can tell. Uh, I, I didn't talk to anybody who was doing less than 2. I don't think we should do less than 2. No. no. So... You know, I think I think basically what we all have to what we all have to think about over the over the holidays when we're doing all our ho ho hoing is uh, how we feel about this. I mean, we've been pretty good to the road crew in recent times, and we've made progress, we've I made think, progress, in terms yeah. of paying competitive wages. But whether we're quite there or not, mm -hmm. I don't know. And I see ads not all the time, but pretty regularly. I see ads looking for uh, towns looking for road people. So. There's definitely demand out there for uh, for what they do. So what? Well, that is something to think about. Yeah. You know. Maybe Steve will have a recommendation for us too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> and there's the definitive answer. <laughs> and there's yeah. the definitive yeah. answer. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you right now, I'm opting for the three percent. Well, when you look at the numbers, and I don't, I don't have the numbers in front of me. I, I didn't bring my, uh, I didn't bring my file. But the difference between two and three percent really doesn't break the bank. What breaks the bank is everything else. Yeah. Um, it seems to me that I recollect it was just a couple thousand dollars, one way or another. Correct. Okay, four percent. Uh, I. I have this 3% pay increase. It says 11.45% versus 4%, which is 11.79%. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, it's truly, it's truly, uh, it's truly in the big ebb and flow of things, peanuts. Yeah. But, yeah. And what did we figure inflation was running two and a half? Well, it depends on which one you yeah, look at. I, I, well, I you know, right. you go on the internet and there are all those different inflation numbers. Different. Yeah. But, you know, it, it looked to me like it's about two, depending, two. you know, if you're going out and buying a new house and buying a new car, it's more. If you're, uh, if you're just kind of cruising along, it's a little less. Yeah. Um, Security was 1.2. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so. What was, who was 1.2? So, Social Security. Yeah, we know that, or at least <laughs> some of us do. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, the increase in the health insurance was four and the increase in the pay was one point two. Yeah. Doesn't sound it's about like the way it's been an, for the past four years, husband. Doesn't sound like much of an upgrade. <laughs> um so anyhow, that's the that's really all I have to say. I think we need to yeah. I think we need to think about that and uh I think we need to talk about and think about um and we've got plenty of time to do that, but how we're going to present this at town meeting because I think we need to have more than our quick, you know, 
do you have any questions here are the big issues type of uh, yeah. type of budget presentation and it'll also be interesting to see what the uh, what the budget committee uh, is willing to support they seem pretty uh, they seem to support in the whole thing yeah pretty yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty good but I mean it would be a disaster if all of a sudden they came out and said we think the select board's getting ahead of themselves but I well, don't think so. Well, I think saying, it's just the opposite that's way. That's I think that's 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 the voters can amend the budget from the floor. Yeah. I mean, this is our this is our recommendation. Yeah. Yep. They've asked for they've everybody's asking for improvements to the road. So here it comes. Yeah. I'll send out an updated report. Um, Sarah talked to the um, the county clerk for what their rates, and she said just round it up by like eight hundred dollars. She didn't have a firm number yet. So by that's no big deal. Um, and then there was uh, Wrightsville Beach. I don't know. Still don't have an answer on that one. But that one's not any big deal Penis either. Too. So right. that's peanuts. So everything that's left on this is peanuts. Penis. So yeah. okay. um, so I'll send out another um, before the next meeting. I'll send an updated one, and hopefully, you know, there'll be more firmer numbers. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And that works. Um, I also found, which you have, I don't know, you might have gotten it. Did Sarah email yeah. this yeah, out to everyone did. too? I found after our last meeting, I found how the select board can borrow money without voter approval. And so I, this is like good information, whether it was for the fire truck. That's what prompted me to do this because of the fire right. truck issue last meeting. So there is some good information in here um, that if we go to take out a loan, um, looking at the grader or something, if you really want to, if you think that's going to be something you're going to have to do, I think your best interest is put it out there as a special article. Yeah, because we can't do it um, for, because you can't can't do do it it for, for five, five years. years. Right. Um, the... Uh, Wait a second. I didn't. I didn't find the attachment to the to read the memo either. I got the. I got her email, but no attachment on my on my email. So what did it say? If it's more than five years, we should go to the voters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And generally, we do our larger um, road road stuff at seven. Is that correct? Well, I think it depends on the cost of the equipment you're yeah. purchasing. Yeah, it's our big things, our big things, Mary, like I'm thinking of loaders and graders, basically. Um, we've done them for 10 years. The big trucks we've done for seven years. Uh, you can't borrow for more than what exceeds the life of the vehicle. So if you expect the truck to last seven years, you can't borrow for more than seven. Yeah, but that's... That's, yes, not, that's not going to be an issue. Right, but that's yeah. how, that's what they based it on. Of course, if with our luck, we have to really do short-term borrowing. <laughs> yeah, Eight, 18 months <laughs> might be good. Yeah. Um, there is in this, there's a state municipal equipment loan fund available, which I... am not sure how it works. You have to fill out an application and all of that. The caveat with that is you can only um, borrow 75% of the purchase price of what you're purchasing, and the loan can't be more than five years. However, the rate at the last time I looked was 2%, which is a decent rate. Mm. And the other thing I found was that if two municipalities borrow, bought a piece of equipment together, it's zero percent interest. So well, we had at one time mentioned about maybe, you know, talking to another town or something and seeing if there was any interest in um, purchasing it together. And I think we were talking about the brush cutter. 
Yeah, something. Yeah. But I'm yeah. just saying, yeah. in right. general, yeah. that's good information for. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, and I just thought I'd throw that out there while we were looking at this. My memory oh. is that sometime in the past, and I can't remember when, we considered borrowing money from that municipal loan fund, whatever it's called. Was it the revolving loan or the municipal loan? This is something different. We were going to do something with revolving loan, I thought, way, way back. I thought we were going to, I, I don't know, I can't remember. I thought for one of our trucks, we well, looked maybe, at this. Well, maybe we did that. And the difference in the interest rate at that time was peanuts. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't like the fact that we had to pay out the 25%. Right, exactly. Um, so. Right. Well, what's the interest rate now? It's just about peanuts, isn't it? The last one we did was like 4%, 3 point something, uh, or 4 yeah. point yeah. something. Yeah. Okay, well, it's a little bit more. Then. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it, I mean, if, <laughs> If we're buying a, a grader for a couple of hundred thousand dollars, is what we're looking at, because then it's real money. Right. Yeah. And especially, um, but the five-year thing. But you still can't do it for more than five years. Right. Yeah, but the question is, and, and I, I, I just vaguely remember Dorinda getting into this before, because what we were talking about doing is borrowing all we could borrow from them, like borrow, borrow I think it was going to be half of it, and do it over five years and put in the 25% and then go to the bank for the rest. I don't know. I, I'm I have some, me some I'm memory of that. I'm not familiar I'm, with that at all. So. We can, yeah, I don't recollect either, so maybe this is why I was on the board. Or maybe it's just a figment of my imagination, Mary. Who knows? But <laughs> I can promise you somewhere along the line we've, we've looked at all this stuff. All the, these rules look very familiar to me, rating them over, I can tell you. So, anyway. It's good information to have and good information to you have keep in mind. Minutes for us to sign. Uh, yeah, but I've got, I'm okay. not done yet. No, You're I know. I'm, Mr. Martin. No, I am not. I was just <laughs> curious. I'm sorry. Um, I have one other thing. Um, Paul Seminara contacted me. One of the road crew members left on his desk the voucher for the free pair of boots from not the current year, but the year that ended in June of June 2019. He never used it. He said it expired, and he asked for it to be reissued. Um, I told Paul that that was nothing I could do, that that was a previous closed-out budget year, uh, but that I would bring it up to the board. And so... So he bought the boot boots nope. and forgot to put it in? He just nope, never he bought it. he never bought the boots, I guess. Well, I would suggest he buy the boots this year and put it in. Well, I asked that question. I said, well, is he buying boots this year? He says he's going to, but he hasn't yet. So well, we'll pay but, for the boots. Yeah. Well, I, on this year's, but I don't know. It sounded like he wanted the other ones. He no. wants the money, and I say no to that. We're not no, going we don't backwards. Give them the, we don't give them the money anyway. We only reimburse. Right, we only right. reimburse. Right. But I mean, like, if he hasn't bought them, I mean, when he buys them, we'll reimburse them. But he hasn't bought them yet, so he's owed nothing. No, no. I mean, probably it's, what he's going to say is he wants to buy a pair of boots now, and he wants to buy another pair of boots in the spring or something. Well, but I, I mean, to, to me... That budget's closed. That yeah. budget's closed. That ship is sailed. Yep. He can, he can buy sailed. a pair of boots this year and we'll Period. pay for them. Maybe he wants to buy a really expensive pair of boots and use both vouchers. No. No, I don't think that's it. We but give them enough for boots uh, every year? We give them What's here? $200 over a year. Yeah. Okay. Then so I he's will. regretting that he didn't use his $200. Yeah. Well, that's... But you're right. That's that's a closed budget. Right. So well, see. and a two hundred dollar a two hundred dollar pair of boots ought to last they, more than a year. Yes, they should. I mean, mine are just over three hundred, but these are two years old. Right. right. Okay. I'll but just get anyway, back to Paul yeah. and tell him the budget's closed. There's nothing. Yep. Okay. So that's the end of the treasurer report. Um, I have minutes to sign. So you're, you're now back in your form. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a mo well, we need a motion. We need a motion to approve the minutes from December. 3rd. I just made it. 
December 1st. Okay, thank you. Is there a you made the motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, all in favor of Third. approving the minutes for December 1st? Let me, let me finish, Third. Mary. Third. Third. Please say aye. 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 The third. aye. <laughs> Any opposed? I am, I am not. Uh, Voting because I was not uh, present. I'm not, seconded it, right? I did. Okay. And I'm not, not signing either. Okay, let well, me do that. Um, let's see. We Our orders aren't ready yet, and I don't have any correspondence. Does anybody have any other business? Anybody have a good joke? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give you a quick update on email. Yeah. Email setup is done. Um, I haven't gotten, because we're running into the holiday season, I haven't gotten, uh, you know, something together to send out to everybody to say this is how you set it up. And the other thing, I was kind of holding off on that because um, I'd rather get the archiving software actually set up before I send it out because I know what's going to happen is that people are going to set it up and they're, they're not they're it's not going to click that button that says leave the email on the server and we're going to lose that first yeah. set until it routes through. So anyway, it's done. Um, we're, uh, we're good for at least a, at least a year. Um, and then just as far as any changes we make. I'm definitely behind on getting the computers ordered except for the Chromebook. It's going to replace that one, which is already here. Um, but uh, my, my wife ended up having emergency gallbladder surgery. Oh, so oh, right. it's, not, it's not been a great time since so about midweek last week, and she's, she's still uh, uh, in quite a bit of pain and stuff. So oh, it was good. Good. We, had a, we had a fun time sitting in the ER for oh, 12 hours before they decided to operate. Whoa. Anyway, that's where we are. So the email's done, okay. ready to go. Well, you know, just be a matter of just getting waiting. something. And I might, I might roll it out in waves too. Like maybe just try it with us. I, this office. I was going to say, let's your, let's start with a. I would say that might be a good idea. Yeah. Eight eight make sure there's no hiccups yeah. or. Yeah. 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 So, that sounds right. like a good idea. Yeah. Did, yeah. You, did you see that um, Russ Bennett uh, and his wife Shaleen, who runs Shaleen's Bridal, were the people that are, are raising money for home health agency? There's a big spread of supplement in the paper, like right after our last meeting. Yep. Yeah. Well, at least two of us thought. Speaking of computers. So, the bottom line is the patches stop as of the first of the year, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But all that means is we're day by day a little more insecure. It doesn't mean the world comes yeah, down. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Right. It right. doesn't. And I, I got to think at this point that Windows 7 is not getting patched all that often anymore anyway. So no, I think we'll be, we'll be fine. Um, and anyway, I'll try to get those ordered as, as soon as I can. Um, and I'll probably just have to have you get a purchase order for me. Yeah. 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 Well, you can make one up if you want. Okay. Even on, I, 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 I'll to tell you what number it. I assigned to it. I mean, I'll, I'll Purchase order to number it. one four three six seven. Yeah, there you go. Slash two. Uh -huh. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, I always use the date. <laughs> so, yeah, but, it's actually um, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good system. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so. Um, so we can have to handle this probably in a couple ways. Um, I don't know how long it'll be before these are ready. So if you guys want the checks and orders, um, we've got to get these bills out. So I don't know if there's no orders for you guys to actually even look at. It's not even how the warrant. Do we know how close we are? I think the ways. Okay. And I've got another meeting, so. Right. Yeah. So I don't know if that's something you can give Peter authorization that maybe tomorrow he can. What I would prefer to do is try and get three of us to come in. And I'll come, come in. in I can come in. I can come in tomorrow. I'll come in tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, I can stop by tomorrow. You can stop by tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I don't know if she's going to be able to um, get them done. It sounds like she's on the phone with Patty now. So what? At least if three of us. Yeah. So I will, and in. then we'll just have to get them out. But there's checks because there was no highway ones done 
the last select board meeting that there's some bills that are very much due. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'd say we could wait. But. Okay, no, that's fine. Did we, did we set the date for the Christmas party yet? I'm just curious. Uh, when are you having it? <laughs> when are you having it? <laughs> I'll have it. I'll have it. Uh, and, just, I think we've all got enough Christmas parties to go to. I know I do. Yeah, and Patty's last day is um, going to be the last Tuesday of the month. So um, that's what we right upon. Oh, that, no, they, it looks like they hung the new calendar. Oh, there it is. Right. I think the, well, I don't know. I think it's either the Monday or the Tuesday. So the 30th or oh, the 31st. Yeah, it's got December oh, yeah. down there. Yeah, so it's either going to be. So is there, is there any um, way we can give her some kind of gift when we're all kind of spread around? Well, we decided to get her what we ended up doing. It was authorized, I think, at the last okay. meeting that I could spend $100. So we got her a. Um, this shouldn't be on TV, <laughs> but I mean, I got her a gift card for something she would use. Let's okay, just put good. it that yeah. way. Mm -hmm. and, um, so where is the gift card? It's arriving. What do you arriving? need? Arriving? It's been ordered, Mary. It's coming. No, I mean, to what store? Yeah, but we can't not, tell you that. We're not Top talking secret. about that in our meeting. Okay, gotcha. I, but I was at the last meeting, and I don't remember hearing that. I think it was the meeting before. Was it the meeting before? Okay, whatever. Okay, but yeah. I got was authorized to spend up to a certain dollar amount for it. So, um, gotcha. <clears throat> so that will be though. I'm assuming would take place during the day because I don't think you're going to get Patty to come back at night to do anything. <laughs> So we'll just give it to her on her last day. Okay, well, if you remind me when that is, I, I would try and come down, down here and be okay. part of that. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I thought yeah. about maybe we could do, you know, if I pick up something, you know, like something from Red Hen or something, like or we could little even croissants or something. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so you think that date is what? I'm sorry. It's either, she said she was working through the end of the year, so it's either going to be the 30th or the 31st. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One right on the bottom. One on the bottom. Yeah. Here, down here. Yeah. 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 And. See, our next meeting is on the 7th. Then? Yeah. Yep. The 7th of the 20th. First? Yeah, yeah. I, will pro I won't be present on the 21st, I don't think. Well, our plan is to approve the budget on the 7th yeah. and just the warning on the 21st. Oh, really? Yeah, I that's think. What, that's what I recollect. Yeah. Oh. The soul searching is on the 7th. Okay. Yeah. 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 If they can do that now, yeah. then that would be great. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. Actually, we just got the warrant, so. Oh, perfect. If you want to do that, she's still doing the check. Here's the warrant, so. Um, so you definitely have to have the budget done for the next meeting then. Right. Well, we'll do it at the, at the meeting. Right, but yeah. I, mean, I thought we had another week beyond that. What's the one? For the orders. For the bill. All right. Um, so, Steve, uh, there's a bill here for 11604 for sand, so I would say that's the same. Yeah. Does that sound like the right number? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Such an I mean, there's only two signatures on there. I don't know. If yeah, they'll have to get, um, Mary will have to sign it after the fact. Yeah. Or if Liz comes in before. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Uh, one of my signing. The minutes. The minutes from oh, the last you. meeting, Mary. Because I can't yeah, sign them. Does anybody want to sign my name with my authorization with a slash? No. Rather not. 
I mean, in an emergency, we could, but. Um, well, I mean, if you guys are happy with it, I'm happy to do yeah. that. So. so, so, Steve, we're paying uh, Charlotte boys here uh, over 50 grand, 51 grand. Yeah, that's um, with the um, extra warranty. Yeah. That's what that second number is? Yes. And did we determine if. I think we did determine that that extra warranty or that there might be an extra warranty available for the other work that they did? Yes, that is. That's it all is. included in that? It, it's under warranty already. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, as far as For that, the extra year? For the extra year? I don't think so. Do we want to try and do that? Let me, let me call him. I mean, it's just a... Yes. It's just a question. I'm, I'm getting gun shy now. If for a thousand dollars we could add a year to that one, that would be. <laughs> yeah, that's money well spent. The way it's going. Well, I just I'm I'm gun shy. <laughs> yeah. Gun shy in what sense? We have a warranty, but we end up spending money anyway. No, our war, our potentially our warranty expired, or would expire. So the idea is by extending. The warranty for a year, we can keep the truck another year since it now has a new engine, new transmission, a new new rear end. Um, and with the warranty, I think that makes sense. Without the warranty, I think it's a question. So we have the warranty. We have the warranty on the engine. Uh, and we're looking into the warranty on the transmission. We have the so two-year warranty on the transmission. Anyway. Yes, but can we get the, can right, we can so we get can the we extra year? So this is the extended warranty on the transmission, right? That I'm yes. going to look into, yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So, that the, so that the truck would be under warranty, or that all those parts of the truck would be under warranty until the day we trade it, basically. Yeah. No more scary surprises. So the biggies on yeah. here, Mary, just, just so you know, the biggies on here are uh, Charlevoix, uh, 11604 for sand, and 24,577 for the first installment of our of our uh, passive insurance. The rest of them are all the usual little stuff. Passive insurance meaning the uh, package of League. property and casualty for uh, yes, yeah. League of Cities and Towns. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I was saying, Charlie oh. boys. Yeah. Okay. Forty-nine thousand and eighteen hundred. That's the whopper. That's the whopper. Okay, so I'm signing. Thank you. So what you're saying is Patty's working in the other room as we speak? No. No, oh. Patty's gone. Patty had to leave. We have our new bookkeeper, Amy, in there doing it. Amy's diligently working away. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So I'm going to declare the meeting adjourned unless anybody no, has no, anything no. else. So. Right on the dot, 5.30 adjournment. <laughs> so